Am I live? So I'm live. Well, I don't. Do I want to hear myself? <coughs> this is kind of weird hearing myself. All though. right. So I'm live. Well, I don't. Don't want to hear myself. <coughs> All right. So now. All right, so let me go ahead and get this thing set up so we can get this show on the road. Um, last thing I need to do is announce it to everybody that I'm live. So, come to Facebook.com. Wait, how do I even share this link? Um. This can't be it. Oh, there we are. So I need to share to Facebook and Twitter. I'm live, y'all. Tune in. And Twitter. All right. What's up, guys? I am streaming live. I am live streaming the process of building my website. Click the link to tune in. Boom. And then I go here, hashtag JavaScript, hashtag Node.js, hashtag Angular, hashtag web developer, hashtag web dev, hashtag web development and hashtag coding is this my password and let that come back oh shit um okay let me just go ahead and Take my camera down for just a second. All right, so I'll put the. Oh, that's how that works. Okay. So let me just take a second to get everything going live. Let me click on that. Let me copy the link.
done. All right, now let me go ahead and get myself set back up. Um, let me open this app. Wait, shit, I don't want that. I want this. And then I got to throw my phone on the charger and then we can get it popping. Oh, shit. I hope that angle isn't fucked up. Yep, all the way to up. All the way messed up. All right, Twitter peeps, I guess you're going to have to wait for the next round when I have to set up better. All right, that'll do. Okay. Now, let's get this on and popping. So, I'm going to go over the design real quick so that I can show exactly what's going to be getting built here. Um, I really want to show two screens, but I think that's going to take a lot of bandwidth. So, right now, I'm opening up the Creative Cloud, and this is where I have the mock-ups for my design. And from here, this is going to have all the content that I'm going to be developing. So this is going to show me how the um, how it needs to look, what it needs to do, the structure for all my data, all that kind of stuff is going to be here. Um, I wish I was a little bit more organized in actually writing it out, um, mapping it out, but I'm not that organized and um, kind of winging it. So. Uh, stay tuned all right so now we need to open up Adobe XD and of course we have to update first so we already have a bit of a delay but while that is doing that I'm gonna move that over to another window and then I'm gonna go ahead and start setting myself up so first things first I need to create a new folder for this project and for some reason my Adobe XD had a conflict that's fine, just open it up. I don't care, I don't save your work. Oh, uh, okay, so apparently it's already trying to open. So I have to do that again. Oh well, so here we go. So now we're in our file browser. I like to have a thing called programming. And um, actually earlier back in January, I started developing this project so I'm actually going to start it from scratch all over again um, partially because I forgot uh, almost everything that's going on in the old one but I may use that to get everything going again so let me fix this um, I'll call this old so I'm just creating a directory for me to store all my stuff in because um, I want to make sure that when I go in I have the old I have the file structure in place so that way when I start building, I have everything in one place. So um, let me go ahead and save this and my computer is just giving me the works today. So while I'm waiting for this thing to go, I'm just gonna give an overview on what's really gonna be happening here. So um, to get started, I'm gonna be using Node.js to wire everything up. So that's gonna be my backend server. And um, if you aren't familiar with Node.js, Let's go ahead and take a look at the website. So this is the Node.js website. First thing you'll see, um, I always download the long-term support version just because I don't have to worry about updates. When you have these kind of current releases, they tend to have bugs and stuff like that and they're not necessarily supported long-term. So I know this, I'll download it. It's good for about 90, well, shit, not 90. It's good for about six months, uh, maybe a year, depending on their timeline. I really haven't looked. We can, here's the schedule here. Um, so, yeah, you get about, let's see. So, right now, they're talking about 12. So, it's been active since January. And it's going to be good up until October, well, probably December, 24, uh, December 2021. So, that's a pretty good timeline. Um, as you can see, these were the old, newer current versions, but you see there's no maintenance for it. So if you get it and then they upgrade it to another one, then you have to download the new one. So I want to avoid all that. So that's why I don't use that stuff. Um, 
So now, um, oh my Adobe XD still hasn't updated. Okay, there we go. So now let's see. So I already have this downloaded, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So um, another thing that I use is called Window. Uh, what was it? Visual Studio Code. I like it. It's simple. It's pretty, and um. It's just really simple ID. It's not like the enterprise version, but uh, it gets the job done for me. So I'm going ahead and launching that. And oops. now that I have this coming up, okay, I have no idea what is going on with Adobe XD. I won't be able to go ahead and get that, but luckily I kind of already know what I'm doing for the most part. So, um, I don't even know what this is, so I'm just going to delete this. So, right now, I need to create, I need to open up the directory that I'm using for my project. So, I'm going to open folder, and then we're going to go to that folder I just created to host my project, and I need to rename it first. So, the name of the website is going to be williammentos.com, so I'm going to have that there. Alright, so... Now that I'm in here, I'm just going to open that and I have a blank folder and it's going to refresh, give me a blank start. So now I have a fresh start. Um, before I get anything going over here, I'm going to go ahead and s install the latest Node.js version, get my terminal going, new terminal. And this is how I'm going to get all my stuff done. And actually, I don't want to use CMD like it is, but uh, I don't feel like setting up the other stuff. So I'll work with the Windows version for now. So if you're a Mac or Linux user, um, I apologize because it's definitely not going to be the same terminal that you're used to using. And I don't know why, for some reason, I always have to create a second one before it actually works. Um, but with that being said, let's see if it's working with me. All right, there we go. All right, so. Now let me hop onto the Node.js website and get this thing going. So I'm going back to Node.js to f get the documentation and it tells you exactly how to get everything started. I just want to make sure I have the most recent version. And uh, with Windows, I'm honestly not too familiar with doing this in Windows. So this is going to be an interesting project. So let's go down to... Windows getting started and let's see what we can find that's really what I'm looking for I'm looking for getting started so why don't I go back and I know I'm not too familiar with this thing but they have a basic getting started um, thing on here that I can use to get started and that's what I'm looking for oh shit probably in guides here we go so well I know this part oh you can't see anything I'm doing so let me bring that over here so here's the installing let me just google it really quick because I really don't remember installing Node.js on Windows Yeah, I already have it installed, so I should just be able to do it then. So let me just go node-v. Okay, there we go. So I already have it installed, like I thought. So now let me go and see. So what you really have to do is you just go npm init. And I'm going to do dash y, and that just sets all the defaults for me. Actually, I'll go. I'll run through it. I'm just going to use the most recent version of in uh, Node.js that I have. And I think this is the long-term support version, if I'm not mistaken. What is it? Uh, 12.16. Okay, so I, did, I should have updated before I started. But no big deal. I can always update later. So here we go. Package name, William Ennels. Yes, that's what I want. Version 1.0. Description, this. 
um, this is just metadata for Node.js um, when it packages all your stuff and puts it to, on the internet. Excuse me. Um, this is some of the metadata that'll go into your browser to tell the internet, hey, this is the kind of content that's going up, and this is kind of stuff that you should be checking out. So that's what that is. So this is my personal. This is a website for this is a personal website we should say personal website for William and also entry point index yes yes um, we'll see that in a second test command is gonna leave that blank get repository I don't have that set up we'll get to that later um, keywords let's do blog doesn't really matter author me obviously license whatever uh, is that okay yes so now we're set up and you see we got this little package dot JSON thing and this is like the settings this is like the menu button for all your project stuff so this is the description oh it's there you can always expand it later um, these are your scripts so um, right now there's nothing going on so that's what so there's this test. Um, I'll change that later. Um, the author, license, all that kind of good stuff is set up there. So now that I have that set up, I need to create this index.js file that it's looking for. So what I'm going to do is just go over here, new file, index.js. And you see, this is why I use Visual Studio Code because it shows you it changes with the file extension so you can see exactly what type of file you're dealing with and then it has some smart stuff in here to um, organize your data and if you have any errors so let's say I do far um, test equals you see the colors and stuff like that so that you can kind of get out of Visual Studio Code and I'm just gonna take a second to check my extension so I'm thinking about it okay cool I already have prettier, uh, prettier on here and that's what's actually responsible for some of that pretty stuff that you see there it um does that for you um, so somebody wrote that nice piece of code as an extension and now we can get started so um, as a kind of beginner kind of thing what you kind of do is you can go back over to the node.js website and you can go to the um, getting started guide so we go here to the guide getting started and this right here is showing you how you create your server and that kind of stuff so um, for the time being I'll go ahead and pretty much copy this but I'll do it over here where you guys don't have to stare at it and you can just watch me work so um, actually I don't even need that um, so before I get started with this I need to get another thing I need to install Express and Express is like my um, my router that's going to control all of the different um, endpoints um, for instance if I well it's kind of hard to explain without point of reference so um, I'll just save it for later npm install or npm i and I want Express JS and that's going to give me the most recent version and then I'm also going to install something called Gnomon. You'll see the importance of that later. Um, but I'm going to do npm i nodemon because I want that. And that kind of gives me that auto processing. So anytime I save a file, I won't have to restart my server. And um, we'll be setting that up momentarily. So now that we have that going, let's see if I can remember how to get started. <laughs> I'm actually going to steal my old code because I really don't remember. Um, so once I get this going, I'll be, I'll be good to go. So I'm just going to open that in Visual Studio Code as well. And um, yeah, so Express. Um, okay, cool. So I'm just going to put this over on the side so I can have that up for my reference. Um, but I just wanted to do it from scratch. Oh, shit. I didn't. Uh, I overwrote myself. So let me go back and do. Um, <sighs> rough start. So actually, I want to do this. New window. There we go. So now I can put this on the side. So 
So full screen that got there. We're going to open folder and now we're back to where we were. So you see this no modules thing dude, that comes in um, when you start installing stuff. So it wasn't there initially, but now it is. And I could have sworn I told it to open that folder. Uh, I see. Close that out. Save it. Yeah. So let's see. I, th I had that folder open somewhere else. So I think that was the issue there. It's really not trying to open my project. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Uh, yeah, I just hit select folder, and that should be it. Mm, okay, so for some reason that opened over here. Oh, no, it didn't. What the hell is going on? So this is definitely, so I'm just going to close that and try this again. I don't know why that was so weird. Okay, there we go. Jeez. All right, so NXJS, and this is, okay, so I just have it side by side. So pretty much what happens is I need to do my const. And this is creates a variable constant that I'm going to store my express router in. And I'm going to say express equals uh, require. So it tells, um, how do I say, it tells um, node that it needs express. So I'm going to say we need express. I don't think I need the JS. Do I need the JS? Yeah, it just needs express. So. And then here, and then I say const app equals express like that. And then that creates my router there. So then um, I want to get to, I'll, I'll go over this stuff a little later, but um, I'm going to just start with this here just to get, just to show you guys kind of what's going on um, before I start diving deep into this. Um, actually, there's one more thing. I'm going to do this port. So I'm just going to store the port number in a variable. Um, so that way, um, when I actually put this somewhere else, I don't have to manually try to put the port number in there. I just have this variable here that'll store it. And I think it's process.env dot port. And I'll, I'll get to that later, but just see that for now. And then or port 3000 and this port 3000 is going to be the network port on my computer that it uses to get to the internet. Um, next, I'm going to do app dot listen. And this tells it to list where to listen for activity. So if I'm doing anything, um, this is where all the stuff is going to get recorded. So, um, and we're going to listen to this port and we're going to do nothing. Well, we'll print something out. So we print my callback function there is going to console dot log. Hey, you're making progress. You're making Oh shit, I forget about that. Um, I need to escape that so we're gonna say, hey, you're making progress on port uh, running on port. And this is where we're gonna put the port in there. And this is just a tricky, well, not tricky, but this is just a cool syntax that lets you put in a variable that you stored and print it out to the screen. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then what I do and I go down in here to my command line, I should just be able to go node. Um, start is it? No, I think it's just node and I put the number. Oh, node run. And then it's just um, index 
dot js. Oh shit. How do I forget that? Run no JS server. So I'm googling this because I can't remember shit. That is not the code. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna open my old project. Um I wanna open it in a new window in a new window though. There we go. And I'm gonna open my old project. So that way I can get back to where I was. So go in here. I'm gonna open that up. Maybe I should have went one level back. But whatever. Um we're in here, index.js. And um yeah, I did need to go one level up. So let's try this again. Open folder. We're just gonna open the whole thing. Let's open that. And um, what I'm actually doing is I want to go into this package.json file and I want to get my start command. Oh, wait, I was close. Wait, I did have it right. So why did that not work? Oh, I had run in there. Node index.js. Oh, there's an error. Choir stack. No, no, I'm not missing anything there. there. Const express equals require express. Yeah. And um, I don't really need that right now. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Uh, wait, nope. Don't need these right now either. Did I spell express right? Yeah. Not that use expressed. No, I don't need that yet either. Hmm. So, first day back in coding in Node.js, and I've already forgotten how to even start the darn thing. So, let's see what is going on here. Module not found. What module is it not finding? Let's just clear that out and try it again. Oh god, I hate Windows. Um, let's see. So, I'm running into an error here, and I think it's got something to do with the way I have it defined. Um, let me do slash index.js to see if that's what it's looking for. Oh wait, ls. Oh, sh uh, what is it? Uh, dir. There we go. So let me do. I shouldn't have to cd any further than this. I'm really baffled. <laughs> what you doing? I'm sorry. I'm very distracted. Um. Oh, maybe I do have to put Express JS. Or did I fuck up on the import and put ExpressJS? And because of that, that's why I can't see it. Yep, that's exactly why I can't see it. So I'm gonna do npm uninstall ExpressJS. So I made a mistake on when I installed. Oh, yeah, uninstall. Genius. So, I made a mistake when I installed Express.js. It was supposed to be just Express. So, I'll do npm install Express. And that should get me what I need. And then, um, as you can see in this um, package.json, how the dependency for Express disappeared. So th there we go, express. So now when I go and do node um, index.js, there we go, you see that? And then the cool thing here is that um, 
let me get another browser actually I'll just keep using this one um, so the cool thing here is now if I go into localhost 3000 you can see right now we have an error right cannot get anything here because right now we don't have anything going there we're not pushing any data there so now that I have that set up I'm actually gonna need a whole lot more to get this project actually going but this is just kind of the basics that I need to get started so now I have my server um, now I want to get ready to start setting up my database because um, for some reason my Adobe XD is not working with me so I can't show you exactly what I'm trying to get at and it's kind of screwing with me a bit as well um, but so yeah I have this conflict with Adobe XD and um, the only thing I can think of is actually let me try this um, I'm gonna get my I need the task manager I'm trying to close it out see if there's any processes running that I'm not aware of um, and try to close it that way so that way I can get the design and show you guys the structure of the data that I'm trying to get in my database um, and then I'll go over kind of how I'll be structuring that that's really where my mind is right now so I might be skipping some steps but um, just stick with me and I'll, it'll all make sense in, in a second um, yeah, I'm just going to close all this out. I don't even know what it is, but I'm going to close it. And I'm going to close that too. Because anything Adobe is not working with me right now. Um, apparently, oh, what's this? I'm going to end that too. I don't even have 32-bit. That might be screwing my stuff up. I'm going to end this as well. And my computer hasn't crashed, so I didn't make a big mistake. So now, let me try this again. Alright, so, um, seems like it's working right now, let's see, um, I still have to do this update for Adobe XD for some reason, not sure, I, there's no get around for it, okay, screw it, I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about it right now, I'll, do it, I'll, I'll, I'll restart my computer another day, and I have that going, it's really not working with me today, um, but I, I vaguely remember what I'm trying to do, so, um, right now, now that I'm trying to create my database, I'm just going to create another folder, called um, models and um, for my database everything has to come in a model so you structure your data for instance I'll say like const um, in this case let's say I'm doing a blog post it'll be const post um, equals um, and it'll be something um, don't give me the line off the top of my head but it'll, be, it'll have some structure like an object so it'll be const post equals some something like this right um, so in order to do all of that setup I need to get the actual database right um, it's not gonna be stored in my file structure on my computer it's gonna be stored somewhere in the database so where's that database um, I have to get it so I have to go and get the what I'm gonna use is called MongoDB it's a um, no SQL database it's um don't give me explaining known sql i just know that um and what happens is in uh, i guess in most places right now you have to create a database um with scripts and i don't really want to study and learn all those scripts i'm pretty lazy so um i'm going to use this mongodb thing and it makes it a little bit more convenient for me to do that um i already have an account here so i'm just going to you can go to the software. I don't think I have it downloaded because I have changed my computer a bit. So I'm just going to check to see if I have it in here. Um, no. So I'm going to go ahead and go to software. I need to download the MongoDB thing. So what I'm going to do is I need to get, I'm going to take the current release. Um, I'm going to go with my operating system, which is Windows. And it's going to give me MSI. I'll take that for right now. It's the default. 
and then I'm just gonna click download so now I have this here I'm gonna save that and then when that's done downloading I'll actually be able to dig in and get my database set up so as you can see here is let's see node.js edition let's click that you already already have all this done um oh could have did it that way actually i want to try it that way see if it's a little faster so next install all the driver dependencies so i'm just going to go ahead and do that i'm going to move this over to another page uh, i can work split screen all right um no, this is the newer one. So I mean the older one. So I want the newer one. So I'll put this in split screen, and then we're gonna go back to the command line, and we're gonna say npm install mongodb, and then I want to do save. So now this downloads, and then I'll have it. And then what I'll have to do next is I have to create, I have to start the server. So we're just gonna follow this straight up um, right now. And then um, we'll dig into a little bit more about how this works. Cause we're not gonna go down to this. There's another way to get around this. So right now we just need this stuff here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, uh, not this, this. So start the moment for a complete moment of construction, blah, blah, blah. Download that. I already have that. Install and start a MongoDB process. So let's try this. Mongo dash dash DB path equals slash data. Okay, I'm assuming that that was supposed to be the path, but um, I don't do it that way. So, oh shit. CLS. All right, so it's still downloading, so I'm still waiting. But now I have the dependency on it. Um, I want to look back at the old version that I have here. So I did have it there, but I don't remember doing anything else beyond that once I did that. Um, um, to be honest with you guys, I've actually only used this um, once with... Um, a tutorial that I did so this is gonna be a learning process like I said um, before it's gonna be a, a learning process for both you and me as well so um, appreciate you staying with me and uh, if you have any questions you can put it in the chat um, I'm actually looking at it as we as uh, I do this so um, if you have questions you can kind of drop in and let me know what you guys are thinking So, okay, now it's done downloading. So let's go ahead, install it, get this thing set up. And um, there we go. I accept. Um, yeah, let's do it complete. Run services, network service. Um, let's just do it that way. I'll, do the I'll stick with the defaults. And then let this thing get installed. And then um, once I have this thing going nice, I can actually get to work. But um, while that's doing that, there is something else that I'm going to need. It's called Robo um, uh, D3, I think. I can't even remember. Um, Robo 3. I'll just put Robo 3 and see what happens. Um, Mongo. There we go. There we go. Robo 3T. Robo 3T. And um, this is a little um another application that they give me here to monitor my um uh, my data um all my database stuff. So you actually get to see what's in the database, um how you're interacting with it, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna download this. And I cannot remember which one is which. I think I just want the Robo 3T. 
Yeah, I don't need all this stuff. So I'm just going to go with the Robo 3T only. And um, I'm sorry, I, my screen is actually showing over here. So when I click on stuff, I'm, it pops up there and it, it just catches me off guard sometimes. I always look. So Windows, and we're going to download the 64 bit exe and then we're going to save that and then we are going to continue with the waiting for loading all right so i can go ahead and close that out so this is actually going to start it a little bit before the other one and we're going to install that so now i should be able to put this down and it should be done or was that the one in the background? Let's see. Yep, I think that was the one in the background. So let's go back over here. Um, click on that executable. I don't know, executable. And we're gonna allow that. And um, I'm gonna start it. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and click next. I agree. And next, install. So we're gonna let that finish and then we're gonna let that um, launch. Box. Nope. So if you, this is what we'll have here, but I'm gonna let the um, MongoDB finish installing before I do that. Oh, let's, let me see the connect to see what, oh wait, not connect, create. So this is how we create our database. Um, I'm gonna call this, um, William com and uh, excuse me for a second my camera is actually my cell phone so I need to charge it just to make sure it doesn't die while I am recording and I find a proper port to put this thing in let me show back on the road 